Ready? Now, one of the things we really need to watch is exactly who's going to control the tempo. A fast server like Chilich wants to play fast. Point after point after point. Nishikori is going to take a lot of time. And you want the big guy from Croatia really thinking, really having to slow down between shots. Didn't take long. But look at, yeah, look at the difference. Look at Nishikori just kind of stroll to the other side, take his time, not in a rush. Chilich is up at the line. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, the crowd is very pro Nishikori. 30 15. There's Chilich, the slasher, going for that slap forehand, just pushing it wide. You can see what both players are trying to do. One's trying to hit winners, the other one's just trying to get in the long extended rallies. That's Nishikori. early for Nishikori. What that would do for his confidence. The wind is blowing about 25 miles an hour. But these two are used to the New York City winds by now. Nice running for him from Chilich. Out to his right, he gets his racket back. Right here, sets up, and then explodes cross court right on the line. So opportunity missed by Nishikori. What did we learn in that first game? The biggest thing first is game. that the, you've seen both strategies really kind of come out. Nishikori trying to take his time in between points and slow down the big Croat. And then the big Croat hitting his big forehand, hit and miss, doesn't lose his confidence in his swing. And then, of course, the big serving. It's just kind of playing out exactly what we kind of envision, what the, you know, the striker and the counter puncher kind of play in their roles. And, and Chilich, does he have enough consistency with those big weapons to win the match? Nishikori The headline at the Japan Times right now is Nishikori ready to make history. Oh! 
And now a lot goes into the head to head. It really does. I mean, if you've got an edge like Nishikori does. I love the fact that he's won the, the last three. The last three times they've played. And it just, it's such a mental game out here. You're all by yourself. And you have to deal with all the pressures and all the tactics. Well, Chilich really got Nishikori spinning around. He was not in control at that point at all. His serve kind of fights back and develops an opportunity for himself here. Fifteen oh. thirty. Nice swing at eighty nine mile an hour second serve right in the forehand strike zone. his best serve. A lot of courage to go for that second serve right on the line. Keeping it deep. Then another shot right to the sideline, right on the line. Well, both players were pushed on their serve, but both hold. One game all for set. Nishikori going to an Another racket. Definitely not liking the control factor. And sometimes, especially when you're nervous, you need something you can hit out on. Something a little bit tighter that you can swing out at and the ball just doesn't carry. You want to hit through the nerves. You don't want to pull back and start guiding the ball. The team lines. There's Michael Chang. He's been so animated during these matches. Some coaches just sit there. You can't tell what's going on. Look at how serious. He brought a towel out this time. He's like, you know, you know it's serious when they're bringing the towel. The coaches are bringing a towel out for themselves. on the sideline, you are so helpless. You're not allowed to coach from the sideline. You're not supposed to, you know, yell any tactical information. So you're just stuck there just, just dying inside, just knots. One of the smartest players really ever to lace him up in professional tennis, Michael Chang. And one of the signature shot moments when he 
year he won the French Open, hit an underhand serve against the number one seed and defending champion, Yvonne Lendl. Oh. So Chilich, Chilich holds serve at love, 2-1 first set. Quickly, please. Thank you. Time. Ladies and gentlemen, please find a seat quickly. You're ready for play. Thank you. Any seat for now? Players are waiting. A little bit of a sunset here as we approach twilight in New York City. Kay Nishikori to serve and try and keep this on serve. Team love. Nishikori was 14 when he was part of a nationwide 15. tennis hunt that was created by a Sony executive. And he didn't speak any English, this Gorny Ivanisevich, when he went to Florida. And this is yet another player who's got Nick Boloteri fingerprints on him. get word that this match was supposed to be broadcast by a pay TV sort of an HBO network in Japan called Wow Wow. Well apparently the government actually got involved and had them give the match to NHK which is the over the air national network. That's how big of a deal this is. For free free cover. Pretty yeah, I mean, yeah anyone can tune in yeah. They love their tennis in Japan. I played so many tournaments over there through the years, my playing years, and they just respect the sport. Very knowledgeable. Nishikori's mom and dad. Imagine how these two men will have their lives changed because of this. Again, Nishikori. And they definitely know it. I mean, there is no doubt they understand what is going to happen at the sense. end of this, you know, three to four hour ordeal. Follow the U.S. Open at usopen.org. Hashtag U.S. Open on Twitter and their Facebook page as well. starting to feel like a service break is going to feel like a huge turn 
15, 15, 15, 15. Who's going to flinch? Who's just going to blink? Both players serving low numbers on the first serve percentage. 36 for Nishikori, first serves in. 38% for Chilich. Both of them just way too low. You're looking for something in the 60, 65% range. 30 65% range for Nishikori because he doesn't have a big bomber. He's just trying to make sure he doesn't hit a lot of second serves that go into 85 to 90 mile an hour range. Where Chilich, he can go a little bit lower because he's going for more. But he's got to get into the 50 to 55% range. 134 miles an hour. Nishikori thought about challenging it, looked at the mark, and decided not to. Nishikori has a very unique style to return a serve. It's kind of a staggered. His left foot is up, his right foot is back. By the time the toss and the racket meet on the other side, his, his balance is equal. Chilich holds again at love. Nishikori doesn't get a point in the last two Chilich service games. Seats quickly, please. Thank you. Done. A star studded crowd slowly but surely filling up the huge bowl that is Arthur Ashe Stadium Court. In a couple of years, the stadium will have a roof on it, as I'm sure you've read. This men's singles championship is on serve. Oh. It's almost like it's very fitting because you're seeing a, a makeover by the men's game right now. That this final is truly a step into the youth movement where the big four are now kind of getting older. And this tennis center is getting a makeover, you know, roof over the stadium. Two really big Louis Armstrong is going to be completely made over in a new grandstand by 2018. Shot from Chilich, not overhitting that, taking that and really finding the right part of the court, measuring just the right amount of pace and placement. That miss hit really cost Nishikori. Could be it. Love 40. Major turning point in the first set, perhaps. Three break points. Yeah. 
problem for Nishikori. He doesn't have the big gun to hit himself out or serve his way out of a, a jam like this. That last serve, 108 miles an hour compared to the 130 plus, 134 that Chilich brings to the table. That one, 98 miles an hour, a little side spin. 30, 40. And a little bit of a mind game for Chilich. If he doesn't really convert here, talk about a massive missed opportunity. couldn't Houdini it. But he really took the bait, though. You see they were exchanging a good, solid rally ball, and Chilich came up with that backhand slice down the line. Nishikori takes the bait, tried to do a little forehand slice down the line. The wind takes it a little bit right, and now it's a break. Chilich composure. Yeah. I mean, it's it's really good. I mean, I, I one of the weaknesses in his game has always been kind of keeping things straight and narrow and keeping the blinders on from all the distractions. Doing a great job right now. Oh. Playing within himself, playing just solid, aggressive tennis. Chilich is always <laughs> call on the left center service line. The ball was called out. It's a late challenge center. by Chilich. Second serve. Yeah, I just don't like guys with kind of like a fast pace to disrupt their own tempo by challenging when it's that obvious. Chilich's coach, Gorn Ivanisevich. Wimbledon singles champion. One of the best serves in the history of tennis. Big, strong lefty. It's unbelievable right now how many star players are coaching. Oh, yeah. I mean, Boris Becker's working with Djokovic. Stefan Edberg working with uh, Roger Federer. Amelie Maresmo, the female Grand Slam champion, working with Andy Murray. First real emotion from the Shikori. Nishikori, he's got to be a little bit more aggressive like he was against Djokovic in the semifinals, be a little bit more assertive with his placement. A little too general right now, hoping that Chilich makes the air. Well, he's, he's really painting the lines cross court. We've seen it a couple of times from the forehand the side where he's on the side. run. The ball was called in. Look at this. He gets around the outside of the ball. See the little flick with the wrist at the end? Look at the rotation on that ball, and that's right on the line. And that's how it is called. Nishikori has two challenges remaining. Shikori once again not able to do much with him serving 5-2 Chilich. 
Chile to lead five games to two for set. Time. Marin Cilic having his way in the first set of the men's singles championship. 5-2. He's been, as you said, much more aggressive going for big shots. It's unbelievable. Controlled aggression. I mean, against Roger Federer, it just seemed like he was just knocking Federer off the, off the court. Whereas now... Chilich has been the one just kind of measured, waiting for his punch. You know, jab, jab, jab with Nishikori. Just bring the ball in, guys. So the, the balls they brought out for the change are actually dead. Sometimes you just get a dud, you know what I mean, one of these lemons, lemon cans, which is very interesting because usually yeah. there's an umpire, a lines person, in this case the, the service lines person that's going to check those balls. See if they, you know, if okay, you get a, all the same. Okay. It's interesting. This is the only Grand Slam where you have uh, a ball for the women's side of the draw and a heavier duty ball for the men's side of the draw. All the other slams have the same tennis ball for both draws. So was Nishikori blaming his equipment? No, 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 no. It's it's. The balls that they changed out, it was like I said, it was just a lemon can. It was just, uh, there wasn't the pressure in it. Ah! And this score has got to be careful here because if he drops this to lose the set 6 2, guess who's serving? The big monster from Croatia. Serving first in the second set. It's just one of those little nuances in our scoring system. Right, you want to be serving to try to stay out in front. Nishikori side, you're only down a break. The deficit doesn't, looks worse than it really is. Because if he holds here, it's 5-3, breaks, and it's 5-4, and he's back on serve. One of the few offensive forehands we've seen from Nishikori in this final so far, was we saw a ton in the semis against Djokovic. Yeah, the winners are 9-2. See, that's the difference so far, right? When they're in a rally, it sure does seem like Chilich is giving himself more of the green light to go for shots just like that. Just lean on that ground stroke. Big momentum points right here. Just moments for both players. Oh. It's 
sneaky second serve. A little bit faster than in his mid-80s. This one, 93 miles an hour. 40, Again, formation Corey holds, and Chilich will have to serve for this first set. Chilich leads five games to three, first set. Chilich, like so many players, lives in Monte Carlo. And you get the feeling that if you go to Monte Carlo in the offseason, you could see anybody at the deli. <laughs> That's right. Skipped off the line or not? Fifteen months. But it felt like Chilich was in charge the entire point. Chilich has won 18 of the last 19 serve points. You see Goran Ivanisevic kind of breathing a sigh of relief right there. This forehand volley cut just sharp enough. And boy, it sure does seem like Kate Kai Nishikori is kind of struggling with his footwork, just a half a step slow to get to that ball. Streak continues. Love 40, a uh, 40 love, excuse 40 me. Love. Oh, oh, oh. in the call on the right center service line. The ball was called out. And it's right going to empty out all the challenges here. They don't roll over to the next set. They reset. Second serve. Again, then first set. Chilich was approaching the net. Nishikori hits into the net. First set complete. Six games to three. Time.
Six three, pretty much all Marin Chilich. Al Trout we're going with Luke Jensen. What did you learn from that first set? Well, I'll tell you. Second set. <laughs> big, <laughs> big, kudos, big ups, thumbs up for Chilich. I mean, this guy mentally handled kind of the stall tactic from tactic from Nishikori. Measured his shots, especially on the first serve, that started to land some serious damage on the Nishikori's rack. Corey is mishitting a lot of shots, especially off of his reliable backhand, and that tells me his footwork needs about one or two more adjustment steps that he's not really in rhythm, and that's a sign of nerves. Corey is battling a lot of history. 20 of the last 21, 20 of the last 21 champions have won the first set. Same story with the women. It's only the second time Nishikori has come close to going forward. 30-15. And that's the one thing that Chilich did against Roger Federer, the length of his ground strokes, just depth. So you you couldn't really attack, even unless you sold out to a serving volley or a chicken charge play. Forty fifteen. Corey needs to do more of. First game, second set. We pull back and take a look at this packed house and, of course, the first set stats. Look at the offense from Chilich. Three aces, no aces from Nishikori. 11 winners to two. That has got to change. We saw it in the first game here, that last forehand winner, a move in the right direction. But can Nishikori balance out and somehow get the serve back in play to get to his offense? Really impressed with Chilich right now. Boy, just playing with really a large amount of confidence, striking the ball extremely well from the ground. can't hit it if you can't get to it. 15 months. And you know, the other thing is, Nishikori changed his rackets already once, you know, kind of worried about the tennis balls, all these little things. But tell months. me he's not settled. Whereas Nishikori, I mean, uh, Chil Chilich is really kind of taking a page from his Roger Federer match and continued that good, aggressive play. Nishikori hasn't gotten a sniff on his serve. First game of the match. Chilich was serving, had a break point opportunity, let it slide, and then it was it hasn't been the same. If, if Misha Corey can get something going here, this crowd will help lift him up. Gets us to one, one game all, second set. 
I mean he's he's been good with both first and second serves. He's won 12 out of 14 first serves and 13 out of 16 second serves. The score has got to really concentrate on this service game continue to hold with ease 40 love 40 15 would really help his confidence. Just missed playing another Nothing backhand, and that's his better wing. It's more explosive on the forehand side, but Nishikori's backhand is usually rock solid. He had two winners in his first service game, which equaled the entire first set. It's ironic that he had such a good game plan against Djokovic. Very Nothing aggressive. Either and went for it and connected it. It's almost like he's fallen back to that. Let's see if Chilich can put the ball in play. And Chilich has, and now he's in trouble trying to regain the upper hand here with the offense. Badly measured, and here we go. This could be a huge service break. World of hurt right now if you're a Nishikori fan. miles an hour and Chilich just kind of clubbed 40. it a little bit didn't hit the center of the strings and Nishikori is really treading on dangerous currents right now got to take his time execute a nice serve and a second shot Thirty forty. Guts, Al. I'm telling you, he's done a set, a 19 shot rally that ends in Lucas behind the baseline, cuts a drop shot. Deuce. And you know, if he misses that, we kill him for it. We absolutely annihilate him for trying that shot. But he totally redeems himself and pulls it out. That's for sure. You hear this crowd. Oh, there will. Dying for it. Time you think that Chilich is going to get a little tight, start thinking about it. He comes up with just the hammer of Thor hand. Look at that. It's like the Federer match, right? Yeah, you think at some point he's going to stop hitting those shots. Once again, break point. Tells you the story. 
A service break that really could change this match. Chilich leads two games to one, second set, and by one set to love. Six three in the first set, up a break now in the second Seize set. Smithy, please, thank you. Look at the numbers: five aces. He's won eighty-six percent first serve, eighty-one percent on second serve. That's getting it done. So, if you're Nishikori, you honestly have to do a little bit more brain power problem solving on this return of service. I take a few more chances, maybe drive it more with more force down the middle, but you've got to make Chilich think about this, that he fears what you're throwing at him instead of he's just. He's loving your pace. You know what I mean? There's no, Chilich just looks like he's out for a nice little hit with the with Nishikori, you know, out on the backcourt. He's not pressed at all. Well, he caught that line, he caught the back of the line. 15 on. Look at this, roll it. See how that ball just bend it. Oh, bend like Beckham. What a huge confidence boost this could be. up in the air loop. Really the leverage that you kind of need for his size. Actually, Michael Chang started that back in the 15, 90s, jumping 40. up the ladder to handle the big kick serve. There's more concern than enthusiasm on the face of Michael Chang right there. your look you get a double break point opportunity like this you want to take one where you're going for a winner well he didn't try to do too much with that no, second and that's very unfortunate because now 30 40 you're looking at a situation where you've got to be a little bit more conservative and you're facing a first serve again instead of a second serve Shikori is challenging the call on that the left far side. That looked inside the line. line. Call is called in. What a serve.
Well, he's walking to the other side, so I don't think he has a lot of belief in this one. That was well in. Yes. Nishikori has two challenges remaining. It's been the difference maker, the big first serve. Advantage Tillich. For Tillich to sit there and dominate with that shot. And if you're Nishikori, you go back to 15 40 second serve. You've got to hit that ball. You've got to make it pay. And Chilich brought out the master blaster when he really needed it. An opportunity lost for K. Nishikori. Leads three games to a one, second set. Almost like a must hold game for Nishikori. He goes down a set and two breaks. They're just going to really start feeling the pressure. Well, there's nothing to build on, really. Nothing at all. I mean, we set, we had that glimpse of a drop shot. We had that glimpse of a, a big return, but he doesn't follow it up with another big play or offensive move. And only Nishikori knows how much energy he has right now after... He had a five setter in the round of 16. He had a, that ended at 226 in the morning. He had a five setter in the quarters. He had a four setter against Djokovic in the heat and humidity. First exchange, I mean, baseline to baseline, where we see Nishikori truly years. create offense from the Chilich racket. Over second serve, 96 miles an hour. You know, Nishikori was on the court 16 and a half hours. Chilich about 14, near 15 hours. But it was really when did you play your matches? And remember, Chilich plays matches with the <laughs> serve. He's going to get freer points, shorter points. If it was played in slow motion. Chilich leads three games to, to second sets and by one set to love.
time. Kane Ishikori with a very encouraging service game. But Chilich is up a break. So that's a problem Nishikori has got to solve. It's one weapon that Nishikori doesn't have. Not even close. And Nishikori's best serve so far, his fastest serve has been 118. 134 for Chilich, and that last fastball is 129. That one, 121. 30 bones. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Statement by Marin Chilich. Both players trying to win their first Grand Slam, and Chilich just looks so much more controlled. And you know, it's not like Raonic when he just had the big serve and couldn't survive a rally. Right, right. This Obviously. guy can rally. Yeah. And do something with the return of serve. Remember, it's the return of serve that did Roger Federer. Finally, a little bit for a little bit of a more of an offensive-minded Nishikori hitting that forehand down the line. He's got to open up his game right now. Every time Nishikori seems like he's getting his game together, it's almost like the next point or right soon after. He, he can't get momentum. Yeah. Nothing on that, sir. 99 miles an hour, falling away like he's got no legs right now. actually brings Chilich up to the net to execute the passing it's shot, but he drowns it. And talk about trouble. Nishikori just kind of burying himself here in the second set and down a set. just took control of this point right from the start. And this Shikori just battling for his tennis life right here. In one hour, he's done a lot of damage. Again, Chilich with the second break. Nishikori powerless to stop it. Chilich leads five games to two, second set, and by one set to lose.
time. Marin Cilic in a great position. Luke, let me ask you this question. If he wins this Grand Slam, how much in the tennis world is his PED suspension in the conversation from, well, all, from a year ago? It's funny because it really wasn't front page news, but now there's going to be more attention to it. It just, I mean, he, he missed nine months from May 2013 to the beginning of this year. It's one thing if you're just kind of like this guy below everybody's radar, you're a journeyman. Now you're on top of the tennis mountain. You've got questions you've got to answer. Lofatin. with a real deep breath. He's going to think back at those break points that he had. That forehand has been, whether it's in the middle of the court like this last one or on the run, he's been landing heavyweight punches. Check out, he gets his rack back. Watch how he leans forward. He's lifting himself off the ground for even more leverage, more commitment. And now he's not trying to lift up. He's not, it's not part of his shot, but because he's putting so much force behind it, the follow through lifts him off the ground. 15 to First double fault of the match. But he's got a little breathing room with the second break. And so it's more of kind of a loss of focus right now. And for Nishikori, he wants to see if he can actually break this guy. So even if he loses the set, if he can at least go into the next set saying, at least I know I can break. Another chance with two break points. 15 40. But does it feel as fulfilling if you're not hitting winners and it's the other guy's errors? But at least the other guy's coming back to you a little bit. You know, he's not out in front of you just dictating. Same thing happened last time. He brought out the big blast when he faced those two break points. Nishikori taking his time, slowing the guy down, making him think. Second result, same as the first. So when you do get a look at a second serve, you better go for your shot because you may never see a second serve on a big point oh. again. Here we go. So he stops play, and this is pretty dangerous for Chilich now. Is this kind of a hope? Right base in. Well, he returned it okay. He returned it, but remember, he's saying this ball's out, and it's on the line. So he loses the point. Another break point now for Nishikori. The advantage Nishikori. And maybe a momentum swing, just, just a little bit towards Nishikori. It's a costly review. The first break point taken by the Japanese K Nishikori. Chilich leads five games to three, second set. Now, can he consolidate the break? All 
there were for Kenya Shikori since the moment this U.S. Open started were questions. Questions about his foot. Questions about how far he could go. Could he last past the first round? He answered them all. But he's never been in a spot this big. Nishikori's story is so amazing. Talked about that talent search a decade ago. He's a humble kid from a humble town, a fishing community on the coast of Japan. Spent the last 10 years of his life dedicated in the state of Florida here in the United States, developing his talent and his skill for this moment. Chilich starts to look normal now on the forehand. Double fault here, and you know, all of a sudden, a couple of... Well, this is a huge spot for him, too. Oh, absolutely. Especially when good things start happening to you. But this isn't so bad. Remember, he still is going to serve. Even if he loses this game, he's going to serve for a two sets to love lead. He can take a few aggressive cuts like that last Daniel. return of serve. First time, he, as he bangs his right leg, this looked like a fatigued shot. Look at the performance here. Doesn't get back in time. That scissor kick just doesn't have enough energy. He gets its racket up, and then he has got to really reach back, and he doesn't have it. And at the end, he just hits his right thigh, saying, come on, wheels, wake up. Set point. Chilich still in control. He'll serve for the set of his life after the changeover. Six games to three. Chilich leads by two sets to one. There's no coaching, obviously, but if Michael Chang could come down from the box and say something to Kane Ishikori, okay, what would he say? This is it. Your back's against the wall. Whatever you have left in your tank, you can't. You got to block it out of your Chilich mind. Just and you've got to throw everything into this battle right now. 6-3, six, 6-3 three, six, three for Marin Chilich. Ace number 11. It's been a, a weapon that has changed this match. He's in such a great rhythm right now. Nishikori's got to start moving up or back, right or left, just to disrupt this rhythm. Just when he felt a little tiny bit vulnerable. 12 aces to none. Making 13 aces to none in this match.
double faults for the second time to Deuce. Deuce. And here's where it gets dicey. You can be up two sets to love, but that 40 love lead kind of evaporating starts to work on your brain. It's a critical rally and a critical miss. Shikori because that thing was had some pace and some depth. And at some at some point, Chilich has got to start thinking about this. Just did not move forward to that backhand return. He tried to one jump up, straight up. He's got to move forward. Watch how he just goes straight up. See vertical? He's got to go forward on an angle of attack to get the ball before it jumps up above his shoulders. Yeah, Chilich holds. First game, third set. And you're going to see more offense in these numbers here in the second set from Chilich. 12 to 8, Nishikori picked his winner total up. But look, too many unforced errors. By going for more, he's making more errors. And look at the aces, 7 to 0. Nishikori, you knew coming in he wasn't going to have the bigger serve, but at least get something from that category. Pressure on Kay Nishikori to hold serve here is obviously immense. Just keep doing what you're doing.
the distinctive Croatian look. It's a beautiful flag. This is a multinational guy, though. Born in Bosnia Herzegovina, is Croatian, wears a Chinese clothing manufacturer, and lives in Monaco. That was a huge moment, and Nishikori's first serve came through. does in that circumstance. Advantage Nishikori. playing for your tennis life here in the 2014 U.S. Open. Both players really on Working different planets right sense. now mentally. One's trying to throw that, that knockout blow, and Nishikori's just trying to hang in. And your mindset when you're down two sets to love, Al, is to sit there, don't worry about the match, worry about this set. There isn't a fourth if you can't win the third. He almost broke last time. Maybe Chilich is coming down just a little bit from this zone he's in. Fifteen. Just can't build anything. Oh, it's so nice. It reminds me so much of the old Pete Sampras days. Whenever he'd be in trouble, he'd just throw those big bombs and just keep leaning on his opponent. And most of the time, it was Andre Agassi on the other side in these big moments. That aggressive play, taking the second serve, 98 miles an hour. Not only hitting it to a corner, but then following it in. Trying another wrinkle, anything to get into the head of the Croat. Thirty fifteen. to come to the net. Chilich plays a perfect lob. 40-15. A lob worked last time. Remember, Nishikori doesn't get a racket on this one. But you see Nishikori just battling every avenue, trying all these different tactics. 
before he jumped to the goal on the left near sideline. The ball was called in. Just to see, and you can always tell the body language of both players how confident they are. Good. Again, well, now the pressure goes back to Nisha Corey to hold on to his serve at all costs. Chilich leads two games to a one, a third set, and by two sets to love. Nisha Corey has two challenges remaining. Corey serving stay on serve here in the third set. It's the U.S. Open the championship match. Loose. Chilich won the first two sets, 6-3, six, 6-3. Three, six, three. We're one hour and 27 minutes into this, into this men's final. about needing a point and needing a moment. Nishikori unleashes the backhand and then sets up the forehand put away. Does everything for Chilich. They're in this rally ball mode, and all of a sudden, Chilich just unleashes and uncorks a forehand right here, and that sets up this transition ball. Boy, he looks so in rhythm, doesn't he? I mean, Chilich just, we've seen this in the semis, now here in the final, he's not falling apart. the last three matches to Nishikori. He, he, I mean, it's truly, this is not what anybody anticipated. I thought it was Nishikori in straight sets, and there's a concern Michael Chang. It may be a fuel tank issue. Could be. But even then, I mean, that's, Chilich is truly playing a great match. Won the ground stroke war battle against Federer in the semis. And he's doing it again one, here. Chilich showing that his depth, his pace, the weight of shot is devastating. If you're starting to see a look on Chilich's face, it's almost a satisfaction look like, oh my, I, I, I can win the U.S. Open here. That's the absolute worst thing he can think of right now. He has got to start throwing more heaters. This is the game. The first real big nail in the coffin of Nishikori. 
We saw three aces in the last game against Federer in the semis. But when all the pressure was on Chilich, Chilich came up with a big winner ground stroke and three aces to close out that match. Talking about throwing darts, 15 aces in the match, five aces in the set for Chilich. <laughs> Chilich doesn't play a bad combination of approach shot volley. Look at it, nice and deep, but it's too general down the middle. Tino and a well-placed topspin lob. Watch this, underneath the ball, just a flick of the wrist. That first and mile an hour serve. 30, just a packed house, just stunned at how this match is going. Forty and fifteen. Sixteen to one. Just trying to get involved. There's the Nishikori box. 40-30. Yes, for sure. So Chilich bends but does not break. He's up two sets and 4-1 in the third. Chilich leads four games to one, third set, and by two sets to love. Time.
Early evening sunshine in New York City illuminating the upper deck here at Arthur Ashe. But the one who's lighting up the match is Marin Cilic. Up two sets and a tantalizing thought. Now find a way to break serve here and serve for the championship. The line of called a fault. For Nishikori, he pumps his fist, but he's got to solve the Chilich serve. 4 2. Chilich at this point, two, Lucas. Three, probably two. just give me the balls, please. It is so, because it's been so easy in the semis, it's been so easy so far in the finals, and you know you have you got this scoreboard pressure that you can't, cho you can choke this away if you start to think about the finish line and the trophy. Take the bait. He took that short ball, chipped it, and started going backwards. 15 moves. And Chilich just would, took advantage of that. Look at it. He moves it. He's got to move forward. Instead, he backs up and leaves this space down the line. Tino. Shikori looking a little bit more animated, a little bit more fired up with his back against the wall. It's easier to play with this deficit right now just to see if the other side can put you away. Nothing to lose now. He should be out of this match. Instead, 
his guts and grit just hanging around. The scoreboard pressure clearly on Cilic. Team Croatia a little uneasy. One for six. And break points is Nishikori. Remember, we asked for that. Instead of just rolling it back in play, you had a second serve. The guy's getting tight. It's 102 miles an hour to your forehand. Shakori has the crowd on his side, pressure on the other side. He can circle that serve. If he ends up Squeezing out this match in this set. This is the serve. Back to Deuce. One for eight. Nishikori on break points. doing it with aggressive cuts at the yeah, ball. This time the backhand down the line drives it deep into the corner. And the first thing that goes when you're under pressure and you're feeling nervous are your feet. You stop moving your toes. tough spot here emotionally because earlier they were just cheering for Nishikori when he made a good shot. Now they're cheering his mistakes. That's his brother. Great look right behind even a switch in the box. You see that lady just praying with her hands. <laughs> One of the better points of the match. Consider the timing, it gets even better. Thirty-three wide. Chilich is four points away from being the U.S. Open champion. Five-two. Some pressurized points there. Chilich leads five games to two, third sets, and by two sets to one.
time. A huge scream from Marin Cilic of Croatia as he sealed the deal in that seventh game. Next four points are going to be four of the hardest of his career. Yeah, and you want to make it tough on Nishikori right here. That's a good solid point because that last service well, game from Chilich was so hit and miss, so back and forth. You want to take as much out of Nishikori as possible to make him earn this game. All. 15 all. Shikori is starting to hit some big shots. Finishes it with the forehand, but it is his ability to stay closer to the baseline. We're just behind the baseline, which means he's taking the ball a little bit earlier, taking time away from Chilich, who's way behind the baseline defending. Doesn't that tell you the pressure was getting to him, Nishikori, right? Absolutely. Did not come out with enough aggression. Pretty all. Pretty all. Only his second ace. Pretty good timing. Zone to the ball on the left center service line. The ball was called in. I think Howard Chilich is going to challenge it. Forty thirty. Chilich has two challenges. Nishikori, and now. What does Marin Cilic look like serving for the U.S. Open? 48 hours ago, he served the knockout Roger Federer, 17-time singles Grand Slam champion. He served three aces in that game and a ground stroke winner. Can he block it out and execute? There's no greater feeling in the world than being right here where Cilic is. Your whole entire tennis life has come down to this. And all you're thinking about is target practice. Where is this first serve going?
championship point. Sometimes you can see pressure. 